What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video we're going to replace the battery on the iPhone 6 and see if it actually um, improved the performance because recently Apple have been coming under fire because they have been lowering the performance of the older iPhones because the battery can't keep up with the basically the newer software. So they started with iOS 10.2.1 I think with the older devices and with from the iPhone 7 I think they started with iOS 11.2. So this is the iPhone 6 on 10.3.3. Let me show you guys. About I'm right there. 10.3.3. So we're gonna replace the battery. I just bought this battery. I ordered it a couple days ago. It just came in the mail on what's what's today's date? Because it's funny that this came in on the 29th, 28th. 28th of December and today Apple announced that they're gonna be doing a discount on replacement batteries for older phones usually it's 70 but now they're gonna do it for 29 I think they should have they should do it for free because they lower the performance they didn't tell anybody it's cool if you if you lower the performance to stop the phone from turning off Because remember this started all when the iPhones the older iPhones are turn, turning off at like 30 percent this is when this whole thing started when Apple said they would send up, put out an update to fix it, and the update was they lowered the performance of the older phone so the battery doesn't have to put out as much energy, and then it couldn't keep up with the newer software and all this stuff, so then it would shut off. So that's when they started. Old products trying to do what the new product is doing. So if you know, Samsung phones don't give you a lot of updates. Like these Android phones, you might get two updates. My wife has the, the 7 the 8 plus the Samsung 8 plus and that thing is on some old firmware it's not gonna get the newer ones because that's not how Android works but who knows it is what it is I'm pretty sure a lot of other companies are doing it but we're gonna do a test I already did a benchmark let's go to history and I just did one basically a minute so I did this one at right at basically 1815 so that's 615 and what time is it now it's 618 so I just did this benchmark with the old battery in it single score single core is 1589 and multi core is 2759 so we're gonna replace it with this battery right here I got this from zero lemon links in the description I got this for 20 bucks Apple's gonna charge you with, with a discount Apple's gonna charge you um, 29 bucks but so let's open this thing up so, get all this stuff basically showing you guys how to do it so this is the cheapest way I paid 20 bucks for this and I know you could get um, get them for cheaper and with this you get all these tools and all this stuff so we're gonna replace the battery when I do a benchmark on this, it takes like three minutes for the benchmark to be to get done. So, so remember that score, and we're gonna have to replace the battery. We're gonna do it again a couple times to see if it changes. So this battery is a uh, eighteen hundred and ten milliamp hours. It says on the iPhone six. So. Okay, we're gonna do that so first thing you want to do so if you if you want to improve the battery performance or the, just the performance of your phone iPhone 6 iPhone 7 iPhone 6s 6 to 7s and all that 7 plus this is what you do just replace the battery and it should in theory fix everything so first thing you want to do is turn off your phone Put these out the way I already took the screw out the bottom I already took that screw out I don't even need to open this because I have another kit right here. Let's pick this up. Okay. This one opened pretty quick because I've done this a couple times. This phone changes screen, not the battery, this is the screen. So there it is. I use my I got my little penny jar to hold the screen up from falling over so this is where the battery stuff is right here so you wanna unhook this so, 
just like that. You want to unhook the battery, just like that. So after you do that, so I'm gonna definitely gonna have to open this pipe packet. So basically, you're gonna wanna peel this part off right here. Basically, just like that. You want to pull it out slowly. Just like that. Same thing for this side. So it broke all the way down there. So now we're gonna have to basically pry the battery out. Okay guys, so now the battery is out. And don't do what I did. Basically I bent the battery don't want to do that because if you puncture this battery this thing will catch on fire I mean gotta be very careful when you do this I think I saw some smoke coming out of this thing who knows but yeah so this is the battery let's see if they're the same same size yep 1810 so we're gonna put that to the side we're gonna throw that out we're not really gonna throw it out but we're gonna get rid of it properly Okay, so this is the new battery and it comes with the tape and all that so because we don't want the same problem we just had to repeat itself we're not going to put both strips in there okay so we're just going to use this other one right here we're just going to put it across like that across the back of the battery then we're going to peel that off then we're going to drop it in and you want to have that little white piece sticking up so that in fact let's clip it on before we set it in place so we get it right there we go so now we got our new battery in place new battery is already clipped in all that kind of stuff beautiful so we're gonna close this phone up nope before we do that we gotta put back our metal piece right here so that's back in we're gonna put the screen back in turn it on see if we got any juice okay so we're booting up okay Put in my passcode so we have 34 percent so now we're going to go back into geekbench run benchmark okay so the first benchmark after i replace the battery is 1533 for the single and 2700 for the multi um, core score so let's go back to the history or do I see another one? Let's go back a little bit. So the one before that was 2759 for the multi-core with the old battery. So the new battery is 27. So we're gonna do a couple of these so the battery could everything could calibrate. Okay guys, so I did a couple more geek bench tests after I charged the battery all the way up and all that. And my last one is that. So basically it looks like it kind of went down. So I'm in the history right now. So these are all all of the geek bench scores right here so you see before so at one point I got 2286 so that was on the same that's today then I got 2269 then I got 26 and you can see keep keeps going up and if I go up to here 
when I change the battery. So basically, this is the one where I change the battery right here. So I got 27, then it went back down to 26. So basically, it didn't really change for me, to be honest. So it seems like if the battery is charged up, it just gives you better performance. And then at the end, this with a full battery now. The last one is with a full battery, and that's where you basically stop. So, for you, so if you have an older device, a real old one with a really bad battery, this phone didn't really get a lot of usage. It was just here, laying around, not really getting no mileage. So it might be different. So when I swap mine out, nothing really changed major, but it is what it is. And Apple. Apple definitely should give us a free update. Free update with your battery. Don't charge it. They're not charging the 79 that they usually charge, but they're going to do it for 29, which is still um still a lot. They should do this for free. Out of warranty, do it for free if they could prove if you could prove that your battery is garbage, give you the 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 upgrade for free. And I'm pretty sure in the future they, they won't nothing's gonna change. This software will still be on the future device because that's that's one of the it's it's a good thing to have, it's just not telling anybody about it. I mean and people been saying this for years and years. Oh the new phone came out, my phone got slow. That that thing that was a placebo, but this, this admitted to starting it in the in the iOS ten point two update for the older device and like the iPhone sevens. On the on iOS 11.2, so I mean that's that's a good thing to do instead of your phone just shutting off at like 20 percent. It just kind of slows down, so you could still make your calls and do whatever. A lot of people won't even notice that the phone slows down, but obviously some people do. And yeah, definitely Apple should definitely definitely they did apologize. They did apologize and they said they want to win our trust again and all that kind of stuff, but. You know, what I mean, people don't. People like these the gadgets and all that, but this is just one of those things, like a big corporation just basically doing whatever they want, and people people don't like that. I don't like that. They just gotta be transparent. They gotta tell you that they're doing it, and people have been cool. You know what I mean, because a lot of people is gonna say, okay, well, yeah, my phone ain't shutting off, but it's going slower. That's fine, but if you're not telling them, people will have a problem with that. So. That's about it. This video has gone on for too long. So yeah, change your battery. That's how you do it. Just buy one off Amazon. Links to the one I bought is in the description. And or you could just go to Apple and do the way. Just go through their steps. It's Prince of ATP 101. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Deuces.